Hello and welcome. In the past two weeks, I have embarked on challenge number two, which had me build as many power-ups as I could in one week. And I added 20 power-ups to the game. <gasps> Let's go. That's five more than I thought I would be able to do. 20, 20, tw <laughs> 20, that's four per day. <laughs> what about it? If that wasn't enough, I made another whole game with friends in 48 hours for the Global Game Jam. The game is called Bunny Says and it's about that dog that presses buttons to communicate with people. I would love to get into that game, but I'm gonna make another video on that. This one is about those power-ups. In case you're new to the game, You Shall Not Pass is a game where you play as Shamandolf the Wizard and you herd your sheep through lands unknown, fighting off the enemies that prey on them with your magic spells. You rest at and manage your farm in between playthroughs before you do it all again. In this video, I'm gonna go over all of the power-ups that I added to the game in the past two weeks. Now, as you know, I'm a video game developer. I am not a marketer. Marketeer, hence the no money. So to loosen up that inner salesperson, put on that sales hat, I'm going to try to pitch to you all 20 power-ups. Like, I'm a power-up salesperson, and you're a wizard in need of power-ups. Got it? A little role play. Okay, let's go. Type, type, type. Money, money, money. It's lots of clients. With... Oh, hello! Aren't you a handsome young wizard? Couldn't be older than 115. Well, it's nice to meet you. My name is... Insert name here. I'll be selling you your power-ups today. A little warning, we just had Schmumbledore pass through and he cleared out all of our existing stock. But I tell you what, we just got in an order of new power-ups, never before seen, brand new shipment. And let me tell you, there are some gems in this shipment. And I guarantee you, they won't last very long. We have Schmerlin coming in later today and you know him, he's, he buys up those power-ups like hotcakes. So let's get you in to take a look. Power-up one. Are you someone that likes to fish? You strike me as someone that likes to fish. Doesn't it just break your heart to show up to a respite and there's no fish in the water? There's nothing to catch? Well, I got the power up for you. With bait, I can guarantee you a fish at every respite fishing spot, every single time. You can make it, you can fish it. <laughs> Gone are the days when you show up and there's no fish to catch. Now, every single time you get to a rest stop, I can guarantee you big ol' catch. Speaking about fishing, I think you'll like this next one. Power up two. So you get to the fishing spot and you, you catch a few fish, but they're all common fish. You don't want any common fish. I know you don't want a common fish. You don't strike me as the common kind of wizard. If you're sick of catching these common fish, the hook power up is for you. Every fish you catch will be upgraded in rarity, allowing you to hook the big ones. <laughs> With the hook power-up, I can guarantee you will catch a whopper. Power-up three. Well, let's say you don't like fishing and you just want some extra cash. You don't want to spend all that time catching fish. You want to lay into enemies and want to make some money doing that. I hear you, friend. I know exactly what you need. I'd like to introduce you to the satin pouch. Look how shiny it is and a little slippery, but oh, so expensive. With this power-up, you can increase the chance that enemies will drop coin purses when you zap them, filling your pockets with gold while doing what you love, zapping enemies. Power up four. Well, the next two power ups I have are sort of an either or. I'll change your play style based on what you like to do. If you're feeling confident and you want a challenge, this power up's for you. With pheromones, you can increase the number of enemies spawned in each region by speeding up the rate at which they spawn. Works great with the satin pouch to fill your pockets with gold. Use it wisely though, it is a dangerous power up only to be used by the experienced wizard. Power up five. Now on the other hand, if you just want to take your time herding your sheep and you're tired of all these pests bothering you, I encourage you to try our new Citronella Candle. With the Citronella Candle, you can decrease the number of enemies per region by slowing down the rate at which they spawn so that you can herd your sheep in peace. Broken by the occasional enemy, but less. Less enemies for sure. This is for the wizard who just wants a break and just wants to chill and herd their sheep their own pace. Power up six. This power up is the flimsy nail. Now, you might be asking yourself, how is a flimsy nail a power up? That just seems like an easy way to get tetanus. I thought the same thing. Well, let me enlighten you. This power up lets you pass through the walls of your pen as if they weren't even there. No long will you get your sheep so close to salvation only to lose them at the last second because they got stuck on the other side of the pen. Power up number seven. 
Are you having a hard time growing your flock? Are your sheep not getting it on like they used to in the good old days? Well, worry no more! The fertility statue power-up will increase your chances of finding a sheep egg out in the wilds by making those wild sheep a little more excited to see one another. Power-up number eight. As a wizard wandering through the wide, wide world, you must feel pretty vulnerable every now and then. Especially when you're trying to fight off a horde only to turn around and see a golem right behind you. Well, no more! With the sword power-up, you can strike back at foes that get too close. Just run right into them. But beware, some enemies do hit back. Power-up number nine. I personally love a good fireworks show, don't you? It's a shame though that the fireworks only zap enemies. Couldn't they be doing more? Don't you wish they did something for your sheep? Well, don't tell the inspector, but if you load some of this powdered crystal power up into those fireworks, when they go off, any sheep inside will be shielded as if you zapped them yourself. Power-ups 10 and 11. I'll be honest, those spiders that I added last week to the game were a doozy. Totally unfair to you. They're huge, they're fast, and they're so hard to fell. They only appear when you trigger the web trap, but those webs are so hard to avoid. Your sheep are hard to steer. They're bound to get tangled in a web here and there. And sometimes you have to wade through the webs to get them. Really, what was I thinking? Well, I thought, you have been working so hard, you deserve a break. These next two power-ups are just the thing you deserve. With the Magic Mittens power-up, your sheep will no longer trigger those web traps and instead walk gently as a mouse and with the magic slipper power-up you can do just the same power-up sold separately power-up 12 do you wish you didn't have to get so close to your sheep to herd them want to keep them at an arm's arm's reach well then the wolf mask is just the power-up for you with the wolf mask power-up you can increase the radius of your sheep herding and push them into the pen while barely moving a muscle power-up number 13 on the contrary, do you wish you could get just a little bit closer to your sheep? Do you wish they wouldn't flee so readily from you? Do you wish you could exert just a little more herding control and maybe, just maybe, give them a hug? Well then the sheep mask power-up is for you! Decrease the radius of your herding so that you can get up close and personal with the sheep you love. Power-up number 14. You know what really grinds my gears? What gets me more frustrated and angry than just about anything else? It's watching members of my flock perish, only to bring them back with a trusty phoenix feather and to watch them perish again, straight away! Well, no more, I tell you, no more! With Phoenix Fire, using a phoenix feather will zap every enemy in the scene so that your sheep have a second chance that stays a second chance. Be careful though, using this power-up will burn through your supply of phoenix feathers at twice the rate. Power-up number 15. I'll be honest, this power up I'm about to show you, it's new. It's very new. I probably shouldn't be showing you this at all, but you seem like you have a good eye, and I think I can trust you. Are you feeling lucky? With this rabbit's foot power-up, you'll have all the luck you'll ever need. With the rabbit's foot, you'll increase the odds that any crate you open has a rare item inside, including additional power-ups and new crop varieties for your farm. The reason this is new is because the development team is still working on making rare items. So I can't tell you all the luck this will bring you. Just know, it'll be good. Power up number 16. Speaking of crates, isn't it so annoying going out of your way to open a crate only for it to be empty? What are these things doing out here anyway? With the enchanted crowbar power up, you'll never have to worry about that again. For the rest of your playthrough, every single crate you open will guaranteed have something inside. Power up 17. If you have some experience dabbling with time back on the farm with the time warp spell, this power up might just be for you. With the pocket watch power up, you can slow down all enemies in the scene to a snail's pace, making it that much easier to zap them and herd your sheep to safety. Power up 18. Now, this power up was developed after the rave reviews of our wishbone power up, which fires two additional projectiles in addition to your own. Well, now you can upgrade the wishbone power up with the clover upgrade, shooting spell orbs in a 360 degree radius around you, sending magic spell orbs in every direction. Your enemies don't stand a chance. Power up number 19. This power-up is for the item users out there, the wizards that like to use accessories to aid them in battle. We here at Bumblebean Games understand that stocking up on supplies and using them strategically is hard work. Work we want to make easier for you! For you! <laughs> With the Blueprint power-up, your Polymorph spell will now polymorph enemies into fireworks to be set off at your discretion. Power-up number 20. This next power-up is our latest addition to the tester suite of power-ups that lets you try on a spell before committing to it. Joining the ranks of Lasso, Shield, Fire, Breeze, Polymorph, and Gravity joins Teleport. Hold space around you like a pro and zip around the map like it's nobody's business. Unlock all the power-ups that require the Teleport spell but remember, this power-up only lasts you until you return home. Now that's it for our power-ups. You're welcome to stay and look around and let me know if anything interests you. It was a pleasure meeting you. I look forward to doing business together. Oh.
Oh, hey, good to see you stuck around. I'm surprised you made it through all those sale pitches. That guy is incessant. Well, back to the real world. Despite adding 20 power-ups, there are still about 20 more that I want to add. But alas, moving into February, I am pivoting into, drumroll please, farming challenges. The first challenge of February is going to be sheep variants. I am hoping to add new kinds of sheep to the game. Maybe even a sheep breeding system? I don't know. I'm crazy. Who knows what I'll do? I don't really have any sense of what sheep variants I want to add to the game. If you do, leave a comment. It might just end up in the game. But stay tuned because I should still have some dope, amazing, sick updates for you in two weeks time. If I can find some energy and balance in these gloomy days, freaking wintry Midwest no sun days, I would also like to begin a mini series about the other games I've developed. And I would like to start with the game I made last week Bunny Says, the game I made in 48 hours with my friends for the Global Game Jam 2024. As always, it has been an absolute pleasure. Leave a like or a comment, it really bolsters my will to live. I also wouldn't be mad if you subscribed. It would actually be like really cool or whatever, but you do you. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. And until I see you again, happy gaming.